every day, everywhere, across New Zealand. From the smallest town to the biggest city. We have the finest tools. And expert advice. For any job. For any person. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? We are Nelson. Hamilton. Pukekoe. Rangiora. We are Trade Zone. We are Trade Zone. We are Trade Zone. Trade Zone. Proud to bring you Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing. I'm Nikki Sindon, and since I could hold a handline, I have been addicted to fishing. Whether it's straylining for snapper, trolling for marlin, dropping deep for swordfish, or jumping in and going spearfishing, I love it all. as I road trip around the country, traveling to both New Zealand's most iconic fishing destinations and stepping off the beaten track to show just how good Kiwi fishing really is. Whether it's a girls trip, fishing with a local or riding solo, I am on a constant quest to satisfy my insatiable fishing addiction. Welcome to Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing. This week, we're taking you back to the stunning Nui Island, where Rochelle and I have come to fish like never before. Nui sits northeast of New Zealand, and it's currently one of the largest raised coral atolls on Earth. We came to Nui to fish their annual fishing tournament, and boy, did we see some fish. A quick trip past the fad before daybreak saw multiple hookups on yellowfin and skipjack tuna, but the rush was on to wind them in before the pesky sharks made a meal of our catch. Come on, girls. Woo! On the board! <laughs> well, it has not been a bad morning so far. We managed to get a few in the boat before the sun came up and then we headed in closer to the island, trolling our lures deep to target waihu. Nice waihu there. <laughs> Delicious eating fish. Thankfully, we managed to nail a few waihu, and back at the wharf, we weighed in our fish, and T's fish won first place for the tournament. Woo, so your waihu has... Winning waihu. is the winning waihu. The next day, we were invited to try our hand at a little bit of a different style of fishing. Vucker fishing in Niue, you know, if you have a look at our vuckers here, they're unique. You know, they're made out of nine different um, trees, about nine different types of species of, of wood. Um, they're really light, uh, and there's about 20 pieces in each vucker. And Nikki's been coming up to the island. She loves it up here. She's been up here about six or seven times, and she's always wanted to go out in a vucker. So I think um, it's about time she gets out there um, with Rochelle on the vucker and uh, give it a go. It's a traditional uh, fishing method here uh, that has very strict rules and um, we're actually really privileged to be able to um, get her out or get the ladies out and uh, have a go if they manage to get out um, early in the morning and get past their fears, um, we should be right. We're about to go vucker fishing here in Nui with these lovely gentlemen. We've got Daniel, we've got Jacob and we've got Roy. and. Um, well, I've never done this before. I've done kayak fishing in New Zealand, but I've never ever been on a vucker and I'm so excited. I had a good sleep last night because I was so confident that we we're going to get some good fish. Rochelle, on the other hand, seems to be a little bit nervous. That is an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> Rochelle has a bit of a fear of open water and things that start with S, so um, this is going to be interesting. I'm glad one of us is excited, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Daniel, do you want to run us through what we're doing and and how we're fishing today? Yep, sure. Um, so we're gonna be paddling out through the channel with our canoes and we'll probably just be using a handline, like how we, we always do as uh, vaka fishermen. And um, if we don't have luck uh, with the handlines, then we'll probably uh, head towards the area where we catch our uh, bottom fish. Okay, yeah. great, sounds good. 
We've got um, we've got Brendan Pasisi on the boat coming to shadow us as well and give us a hand. So Rochelle, no worries if anything goes wrong. He's my wrong. rescue boat. <laughs> He's the rescue boat. <laughs> So obviously with vaca fishing, um, you're very close to the water, you're in a wooden canoe. Have you made these canoes yourself? Yes, we, uh, three years ago, I think that was in 2015, we had a, a big uh, vaca project that was uh, hosted by the village and uh, we managed to make uh, over 45 canoes in total. 45 canoes? Yeah, 45 canoes, yeah. That's amazing. And so these are all made by hand? Yes. That's probably why you catch so many fish off them, because they're made with love. Yeah. <laughs> um, this handline fishing reminds me of when I was a child. This is actually how I learned to fish, is with a handline. But I haven't done it for a long time, so please excuse me if I don't get my cast right or if I'm not doing it properly. Um, are you gonna, would you be able to run us through exactly what we do and what we need to be careful of in the safety aspect? Yep. Uh, it's just mainly going through the channel. That's when it gets a bit rocky. Okay. So um, with us, we tend to sit just a bit further close to the to the outrigger okay. just to, just to avoid uh, tipping over and stuff so the outrigger being that that, that sticks out yes yeah. okay it's the outrigger and um and safety first life jacket safety never takes a day off guys yes never cool okay and what are we using for bait today uh we'll be using uh urihanga in the way but we call it uh macro scad and uh macro in cool. English. Thanks so much for taking us out, guys. Cool. This is actually a dream come true for me. I've never ever been bucket fishing, and I've been to Niue, I think, I think this is my eighth trip. I just can't stay away from the place. But I've always seen the guys on the buckets, and I've always gone, oh man, I'd love to do that. So, yeah, very cool. Right, let's get into it. After the break, we get stuck into some deep water Niuean species. Yay, we got one! <laughs> This week we are back in one of my favourite places, the stunning Niue Island. Rochelle and I flew over and fished their annual fishing tournament and now we're trying our luck at traditional vaca fishing. Yeah, so the game plan today um, is uh, to get the girls out. Um, hopefully we're going to head out uh, first thing and because uh, the weather's going to be a little bit windy, um, as soon as the wind starts to pick up, it's going to be hard for them to hold their vacas. Um, so we're going to move in a little bit closer and do, try some bottom fishing for um, the local uh, bottom fish species. Why Chase, if you catch a if you catch a fish, then you're most guaranteed to to land, to land it because okay. it's wire. Because of the teeth. Yes, but uh, we find it often that 50% uh, of the chance that you won't be catching because the fish are pretty clever these days. They they see the wire trace, and the second option will be um, just mainly the, the mono trace. Mono trace yeah. to the hook. And uh, we find this uh, 80 to 90 percent uh, more effective. More effective, but once you once you get a uh, strike from from uh, sharks or wahoo, or... wahoo, yeah, you you'll most likely get good enough. And Thank you know what? You. I can see flying fish on one of those. Which one would be the best to catch a flying fish? Flying fish. Uh... Is there something to say? Yay, big! <laughs> you know, Michelle set her sights really, really high, and she yeah. just wants to um, catch a flying fish. And if it flew into the bucket, that would be ideal. That would be ideal, but not because anything's chasing it. Yes. <laughs> Anything is starting with yes. <laughs> this is actually trade zone fear factor today. It is. We are getting snatching through those fears, and um, we'll have to have a glass of bubbles or a, a wine or something tonight to celebrate because you're going to conquer a fear today, Rochelle. There'll be vodka. <laughs> but you know what, Nikki? What? I am Moana. You are <laughs> Moana. <laughs> You clearly have a little girl, Oh don't my you? god, I have a little girl. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be good. I am like, I'm so pumped. So pumped. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll yeah, be fine. I'm, I'm, I can do this. You've got lots of people with us. We've got yeah. our life jackets on. There's heaps of safety. You've got your bailer. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're, we're not gonna go over. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Getting out through the channel was nerve wracking, to say the least. It has ripping current, and we're floating very close to the water. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Just sit a bit to your... Left? Yep. Does that matter that that's moving? No, no, this is fine. Okay, and do I have to have this a certain way? Yep, so... That uh, way? Just pedal straight, and if you feel that you're, you're turning uh, quickly to the right, 
then you switch. Okay, quickly get your boat, don't leave me out here hanging. Don't leave me! I'm out riggering! I don't make a very good Moana. Are we nearly there? My arms are tired. <laughs> I'll let Roy show you how they <laughs> 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 Most, if not all of, all, all of the um, fishing in the bucket is done by hand lines. And um, yeah, I mean, it's, as you know, you catch a big fish on monofilament, it, you know, it takes off and, you, you know, it's hard on your hands. Um, most of the old uh, traditional waka fishermen, there weren't any gloves around. Um, but this day and age, uh, I've noticed that um, some of the younger fishermen now, uh, a lot of them use uh, gloves. And we also have um, safety uh, gear now, which uh, uh, the old uh, traditional fishermen didn't actually have. So, you know, life jackets is something that the, the government and, um, you know, uh, even the New Zealand Maritime Program, safety program now, have started rolling out um, locally here to try and improve safety uh, on the island, both in the canoes and in the boats. So uh, Roy's just um, preparing the ground bait this morning. That's what they use their paddles for. Morning, Roy. How's it going, mate? Are you exci as excited as the ladies? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We bait our hooks and start to send our line all the way down to 170 metres. We saw you pulling frantically there just before. Did you have a strike? Yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah, ran away. <laughs> you got off? Got off? Yeah, got off. Yeah, yeah. Was it a good strike? Yeah, it was. It was. All right. I can see fish on the sound about uh, 25, 30 fathoms. Yeah. Yeah. There's a weight at the end of my line, and I think it's a fish. So I'm pulling my line in one metre at a time. Tackle Tips and Tactics, brought to you by Smart Marine. Oakley Sunglasses, the new prism lens technology, is designed to enhance colour and contrast. They are designed specifically for you to be able to see into the water a little bit more. They increase depth perception and highlight features in your environment. They're absolutely wicked for fishing, and I would not leave shore without my Oakleys. For all your fishing needs, head on down to your local Smart Marine store. After the break, we see what's on the end of our line. <laughs> this week, we're in the stunning waters of Nui. Rochelle and I have been invited vaca fishing, and we're winding up our hand lines from 170 metres. The vakas are, are really unique uh, to Nui and uh, there's a lot of skill and art that goes into building them eh? and, and it's passed down from one generation to the next and there's only a handful of uh, really skilled uh, vaka builders on the island. There's like 20 different pieces uh, or more to uh, traditional vaka here and, and fr from the different trees so they're carved out using adzes and axes and the like. Um, in the old days obviously they must have struggled with the types of tools they had um, but yeah nowadays it's a little bit easier but yeah a lot of uh, effort goes into building canoes they can take you know several weeks to months to to actually complete uh, letting the wood dry and, and so forth nowadays some of the um, the materials include um, you know um, monofilament nylon and stuff to, to pull to tie them all together and and glues and, and glass, fiberglass and stuff uh, here and there. But in the old days, it was just like sennit and, and other vines that were able to be used for um, for lashing the canoe parts together. Yep. <laughs> so you could see how far out we were from the Avicelia ramp. Uh, we're in about 100. We're in 160 metres of water. Um, so that's how the local fishermen out of each of the villages on the western side of the island got their traditional fishing hull. There's a, a fish aggregating device uh, put down there as well to try and help increase the catches of the local fishermen. Um, but yeah, so the, you know, we're, we're literally only 
the same distance offshore as we are deep. So it's uh, almost 45 degree um, angle, the, the sea floor coming out. Um, so you don't have to go far um, to come out and, and fish for big pelagics. Yeah, Rochelle, so uh, when you're out here, it's traditional and it's, it's disrespectful if you don't eat your bit of bait. That's why the fishermen eat it. Yeah, because it's, it's really, they use, only use the freshest of bait here and it's well looked after. So um, I think you and Nikki both have to... Uh, yes. Don't get hooked at the same time, but uh, just uh, take a little nibble at least. There you go. <laughs> I think I've got a fish on, but if I'm honest, it's really hard to tell on a hand line. Wearing gloves and fishing 170 meters deep, but I pull it in meter by meter. Oh. Must be. Nikki, just in, in case if you've got a fish on, just be wary in case a shark comes Here and takes go. it. Oh, there you go. Yay, we got one! Woo! Woo! I got one! Woo! Woo! I got one! Woo! Just tell me it's legal. <laughs> so that came up from 170 metres. It did, yeah. Well done, and they're really nice eating too. Are they? Yeah. Hello, yeah. oh, yeah. So you're going to have to feed about 10 people tonight, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on another bucket that's fishing the fad. Holy! That is amazing! Just off the fish. We were bottom fishing as well. That's what the girls were after. Yeah, that's amazing. Congrats. Wow, look at its big long tail. That's incredible. What kind of fish is that? Uh, yeah, ruby snapper. Ruby snapper. snapper. Yeah, I've, we get ruby snapper in New Zealand, but they do not get that big. Check out its big, beautiful tail at the top here. I just used the heads of the clay fish on this one. Yeah. So what did you do to catch that? I uh, rigged up the uh, bottom fish line. Yeah. And then I uh, just dropped it in. <laughs> I prayed really hard. I just used the fish heads on the, on the flying fish, so. Yeah, and you dropped all the way down to the bottom. How deep do you reckon you were fishing? I think it was about 300, 300. 300! Oh so my gosh, I and- I thought I snagged it on the on the rocks, but I, when, I, when I yanked it up, the line, I came up, so. Amazing! Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's good eating fish? It is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing, congratulations. I'll you. probably put my little fish down now. <laughs> Oh man, I, I have such a newfound respect for vaka fishermen, canoe fishermen, kayak fishermen, anyone that fishes in this form because it is so physical. It is. It's, yeah, like. It's not going out there today. So. Yeah, it was. It, it doesn't. It probably doesn't look that windy on camera, but it actually is quite windy. And you know, you got the strong current and then the wind. I think I'm gonna have to um, see if my husband will give me a little shoulder massage when I get home tomorrow. <laughs> It looks like a 20 pound fish. Yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah. It's very good. Have you seen one bigger than that? Yeah, yeah, they get a bit bigger, but that's a big one. Yeah, it's yeah. big. The weather has just kicked up a little bit, so we may have to head in soon, oh, yeah. but just in the nick of time, Rochelle thinks she may have something on her line. Is it? Yes, it's a fish. It's a fish. Wait. Yeah. And just like that, Rochelle's wish of getting a small fish has come true. Thank God for that. Well, that concludes Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. Thank you so much to Brendan and T from Nui Fishing Charters and to our new friends, 
Roy and Daniel, thank you so much for coming out with us. We have had the best time. Such a good time. I can't wait to come back and nail some pelagic fish on board these buckers one day. I just feel so privileged that we've even been able to come out here. So thank you very much. And we'll, uh, we, I just can't wait to come back to Nui. <laughs> Yoo! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> this trip would not have been possible without the help from Nui Tourism. Thanks for having us, and I can assure you we will be back again soon to further explore what is one of my favourite places on Earth. Gear, Care and Catch, brought to you by Tradezone. Here we are at Tradezone in Vicargo. Let's go and meet Liz and the team. Hey, hi Nikki. What brings you down this part of the country? Well, I am going fishing, but I'm just trying to get my wheel nuts off and they're a little bit rusted, so I need something to get them off. Perfect. Well, you've come to the right place. We've got this new Hikoki 36 volt impact wrench and it's the most powerful on the market. So no matter how rusty they are, 1,100 newton metres of torque, and you're going to get those things off. Oh, perfect. And you've got a nice LED light on there, so it doesn't matter whether it's day or night, um, and it's reasonably lightweight. I love it. What's the battery life like? Uh, about six times a normal 18 volt battery life, because this is a new brushless technology, so it lasts a long, long time. 36 volts, and it only uses a proportion of that to do your job. Do you get How many batteries do you get with it? Just get two one? batteries with it and a charger. And from flat, to fully charged, 32 minutes per battery. 32 minutes? 32 minutes, yeah. I'd better take that one then. Cool. Come with me. OK. For all your engineering needs, head in store or order online at www.tradezone.co.nz. Check out our YouTube page for tips, tricks and entire episodes of every season. And like us on Facebook to keep up to date with competitions and all your fishing news. Trade Zone Addicted to Fishing is proud to be with Extreme Boats. Powered by Honda Marine. We tow it around in our custom built GFAB trailer on the back of our Mercedes Benz V6. Smart Marine supply us with our Shimano Tackle and we find the best fishing spots with our Raymarine. We move in precision thanks to Seastar and maintain our gear using Ting Tools. We keep up to date thanks to New Zealand Fishing News Magazine and it all keeps performing thanks to Trade Zone.